the last minute, the minutes of the last meeting, and has everyone had a chance to look them over? Are there any additions, corrections, any changes that anyone wants to make? I have one minor one. There's a statement in there that says that I th recommended or I thought it we ought to consider making it a condition of the Prisley Award that a plaque be placed on the exterior of a building of the awardee. And I don't remember that I said that. I know that Guy was very much in favor of plaques. I think what I said was that I didn't want to make it conditional, that they have to have a plaque. That was not what I meant. If, if I misspoke, then I'd like to rescind it or I'd like to just change that idea of the other way around. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yep. I can, I'll make that correction, Pam. That was, I'm sure that was just my uh, quick uh, dictating and missed, missed it uh, when I was typing. And it's small beans and I'm, I'm hesitant to even bring it up, but thank you. Okay, so will someone make a motion that our meetings be accepted as they, with the changes we just discussed? Since I, I obviously so. read them, I'll move that we ought to accept them. I'll thank second you. the motion. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. So our, <laughs> our Aye. Okay, so our next meeting will be December 14th, 2020 at 5 30 p.m gotcha can't believe we're in, going into december already. okay old business design review who is doing that mostly what well, is that well the, the only thing i would say is I'll, i guess i'll point out it's um <clears throat> it's exciting to call that old business now um <laughs> But uh, the, I believe that will pass, uh, that will become effective day, 30 days after it was passed. Um, and so I am working with uh, our, our code office to make sure that we've got permits in place and all of that stuff. Marianne, I think there was in the minutes from last month, there was something about you putting together a document. Yes. Um, and I want to make sure our code officers all have a copy of the map and some of the basics on what they need to be looking for that would trigger a design review. So if they see any of that activity happening, that they can engage, you know, have a, have a conversation with the property owner to let them know that there's an issue there. Or when they see an application being filed, that we can get that addressed um, and expedited quickly. I apologize. I'm supposed to be designing as to get missed. And I was just planning to borrow one from another city, and I did not do that yet. I apologize, but I will get one to you very, very soon. What's the date, um, Paul, that this will become, that this will be in effect then? Uh, let me see. I believe it was passed by city council <laughs> on, I want to say October 12th. And, or no, excuse me, uh, Monday, October 19th. And so 30 days after that. So Thursday, November 19th. Okie dokie. Yay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, that's great news. Really good news. And I will get the certificate of appropriateness. And what other things did we need? Or was that it for now? Or what other... Um, forms that we need? Um, I think that's probably it. I, I, okay. Um, one, one thing I think it might be good for us to do, um, and I can, I can do that, is uh, maybe reach out to the uh, Ohio History Connection and see if we can get one of their staff members who might be willing to um, come to one of our next meetings, either December or January, and give all the commission members some information about kind of a little bit more about your responsibilities, or maybe we can reach out to another community uh, and see if one of their preservation commission members would be willing to talk with us. If anybody knows somebody that they would recommend. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. Just an idea. Mm -hmm. hey, Paul. There's John. 
I'm here. Thank you. I mean, have we got the city paperwork in order yet? Or I mean, I assumed from what I'd heard that we've been approved our district, correct? It'll be it'll be approved next. Uh, it'll become law on uh, November 19th, John. It was signed for third reading and it was voted on October 19th. So uh, it'll become law 30 days after. So all our uh, our application paperwork also needs to be right. Yep. Completed. Yeah, Marianne's working on the certificate of appropriateness, um, and I'm in. Uh, David Riggs and I are talking to make sure that he's got what he needs. Um, he didn't think it would be any problem on his part, and I want to make sure that they've got a copy of the map and the basics on, um, you know, what would trigger a design review so that they can keep an eye out for that. I, excuse me, but I also assume that you will, he will inform you whenever there is a project that he deems might be required to be reviewed. You will evaluate it and then contact us if necessary. Sure. If, yeah. I mean, that that that's, I, that's fine. I, with don't, me, I don't mind being one of the members that's on point for a speedy review vis-a-vis -vis meeting once a month. Um, I'd be happy to be available to review projects as as they come in on a mm -hmm. on a need basis as need. Well, I think uh, didn't uh, Paul at our last meeting, Pam, talk about the fact that most of these reviews have to be public. <laughs> we can't. Well, that's all right. That, that's okay too. Yeah. So we have to schedule a public. Fine. Yeah. We can do that. Yep. Yeah, my schedule is also quite flexible, so I, I'd volunteer for sh shorter notice meetings for review. Well, it's, 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 it's not the review. I think that even in our recommendations, we re recommend that any applicant at least discuss their project prior to application with the Historic Review Committee. So that what you guys would do, and whoever was on the point, would really be um, ref, ref, meet and discuss and see what the project involves and then report back to the committee. Uh, yeah, but basically, how, do, how do we notify people that that's what we're going to do? I mean, how does, how does that get communicated? In it's in the application. Uh, I have uh, written a, a supplemental uh, <laughs> checklist that would be uh, provided the, the applicant upon uh, submission for a permit application of the steps that would are recommended for our review. That's perfect, John. Perfect. Well, Dog I'm just trying to make it. <laughs> then, Paul, oh, then Paul would inform like, maybe two or three people like Cyrus and Pam or somebody, and we could rotate this or whatever yep. about the project that's coming up. And then that would be the initial meeting might not be the full committee, but a select few of the committee with whatever the, whoever the applicant is. And then you would re recommend not to them. I don't think you can recommend to them. You would recommend to us, the rest of the committee, what you saw and then they would have to present it to our committee, right, Paul? Right. Just like yeah. the Trade Commission. The Trade Commission, all of a sudden, we had to go and be on TV, <laughs> just even for the Trade Commission. Yeah. Uh, because everything has to be up front. Mm -hmm. That we would all, everybody would already have an idea of what we're expecting to see right. and probably um, already establish some uh, Good. plan of attack for that project before we go on TV. <laughs> Do you all think so we should, nice um, oh, sorry about that, Marianne. No, it's okay. I was uh, going to say, I think we discussed last time that for the first one or two coming in, we would all like to see it. Oh, <laughs> well, we all have to see it. No, no I mean, we have to, we, we have to see it, but hopefully it's just going to be review from our subcommittee. We will get I would, I mean, I don't know. We're not going to have 10 meetings a month. I don't think we're gonna do that. Should we reach out to the local architecture firms as well? Hi. 
And I already have told RBC what's going on. Okay. They're aware of it. Okay. But there's more than that, you know. They all should know. Okay. Why are we reaching out to the architecture firms? I'm confused. Uh, I think just they, they do a lot of the work on for uptown business on, property owners. And so just to let them know in advance what they should expect if they're before, with a with a client. Okay, good. They, they, they would likely be the ones doing the application, Marianne. Okay, okay. And I was thinking, too, the preservation background. <laughs> I like your idea of having someone from um, Columbia come down and talk to us something about this, because I think that would help a lot. Yeah, I can, I'll reach out to... Uh, Nathan Bevel, that's usually who I reach out to up there to see if he can um, give us some recommendation. Thank you. Um, anything else to add about this? There's Bowie. Yep. I would, only, only one thing I would add is that my, my guess is on an annual basis, um, there will only be a few if any reviews just on a regular you know anywhere from zero to three would be a typical year i would think from the amount of applications we might see there's just not a lot of change that happens on an annual basis it really you know might see a lot of change over 10 years but on you know on any given year it's only a couple thank you mm -hmm. okay are we ready to move on to the mm. Something has been done about that, Rich Vetter. Uh, and I met with uh, the minister, uh, Reverend Martin, from the First Presbyterian Church and discussed with him about asking the First Presbyterian Church to be the, the first Joe Ann Prisley Award and explained everything. He was very favorable about that. And they do want black on the outside of the building, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I, 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 I already, they already have a plaque out there, you know. There's, yes. But yes, one. there already is one, yes. There is one for another. Yeah, and he <laughs> is he is very uh, enthusiastic, I would almost say, would you, Marianne, uh, in his appreciation of our rec uh, plan recognition of them, and he thought it was wonderful, and he showed us brochures that they had on the history of the stained glass windows and the uh, the interest of the Presbyterian congregation in history talked about the congregation itself dating back to 1809 etc so he was very enthusiastic and supportive and when we brought up the issue of the placing of the plaque I remember Guy it was Guy who I think expressed the opinion that it ought to be on the outside of the church if possible he seemed to be all for that in fact marianne and i did a little visual inspection of our own of the church and found a couple of places including one right on court street which would be a very nice place for the for a small very you know a small plaque to go and it would be very appropriate So what's the next step, Marianne? Do we just do it? I think we should have a to-do. I mean, some sort of an event about it. Um, Guy worked on the plaque last time. That took us a while to even decide on its size and the verbiage. So we have that to do. And then some sort of publicity thing about it we shouldn't just all of a sudden have it appear we've got to orchestrate it so that it kind of identifies us as well as the church and it, it, it's also um to remember joanne prisley too so there's a little bit of planning that needs to go into it uh, don't you, don't you think i think I mean, obviously a press release would be good, but could we go a step further and 
uh, let the Athens News know a little more about the significance of it and see if they do a small write-up? Yeah. Yeah, that kind of stuff. We probably should hit it on as many prongs as we can. The problem being COVID, the problem being, well, what do you do? I mean, I don't want to get a bunch. We're going to be limited to five people. I don't know what it, how it's going to play out here, but we have to do it under the burden of COVID. Well, I think so Ath Athens News Messenger, maybe the Post, uh, you know, hit all those guys. Just like you're experienced at that, Cyrus, because of your work that you did with the armory and getting that right. plaque and dedication all set up. So maybe you could sort of come up with a plan. And I, yeah. usually Guy already has. Reverend Martin would like to be involved, I'm sure. Mm hmm. Are yeah. they have is the are they having services at that church? Not yet. No. No. Wouldn't think no. so. Not now. Mark. So th should we post I mean should we think about it happening in the few even I mean I want to get it going. I don't want it to fall by the wayside. It sounds like it's going. So I'm happy about that. But should we think about it in terms of next spring or now? What do you think? Guys, well, I think what I came away from that initial meeting with was um, we'd like a plaque and the plaque should be. And then Reverend Martin would like something written a little bit more in depth. Yeah. And I've been working on that, I'm not getting very far, but I've been working on that too. And just to see what we can get, send it to him, let him look through it. Because I think he wants to do something. Um, when I don't know a lot probably depend on the weather as well mm -hmm. but I think as soon as we can get this done and get his approval and didn't you get that same impression Rich that it could be almost any time and we could as far as the Reverend Martin is concerned we could do it almost any time we have to get our ducks in order and so on uh, I got the impression he, we didn't talk anything about plaque size or wording or any of that specifics, but from a look at the church and what other things are on the side of the church, if you want an external plaque, I don't think it could be real large. It would have to be modest sized, I think. Uh, but I think we had worked out something with the, <laughs> in our negotiations with St. Paul's, I think we had found it is possible to do a, a relatively short, modest sized plaque that is attractive, recognizes Joanne Prisley, everything that Pam said, and do it. So I think we should do it. I, I can tell you the mayor, I brought this up with Mayor Patterson about a week ago during uh, um, talking about some 2021 uh, budget issues and. Uh, uh, I mentioned that the preservation board might uh, might need some budget for a plaque or something for for uh, the Prisley Award that they've been working on. And Mayor Patterson told me to tell you all this evening, please. He he would love to see um, our boards and commissions creating some sort of awards um, to community members and organizations that are doing good work. So good, good, good. And I believe if knock on wood, but depending on our budget on 2021, there should be uh, a small amount of money in that budget to cover the cost of a plaque. Do we need a motion or do we need anything formal from this commission more formalistically to make this happen, uh, Paul? And also, does the city council have to approve it or not? I don't recall. Uh, no, city council would not need to approve. Um, this would fall under your responsibilities and, you know, to kind of do your own business as you see fit. Um, I don't know if you would need a motion to make a recommendation as a body, but I don't think it would hurt to make sure that the, the board members are on the same page about giving the award to uh, First Presbyterian or any other person or building. I've moved that we 
give the Joanne Prisley Award to the First Presbyterian Church. I'm deliberately leaving all the details out as to the date and all, but I just want it on record that we favor this motion. Yeah. I'll second. I'll second. All in favor? I go. All in favor. Aye. 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 Thank you. I think um, I think we have passed that resolution. Thank you very much. Um, let me see. Are there any more updates that we need to bring before everyone? Okay, if there aren't any. Uh, is there any other business anybody would like to bring to the board tonight? The OU thing. Yeah, Marianne, uh, Pam had added new business uh, regarding university dialogue. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. when I read the minutes, it was, you thought you'd have a chance, maybe, Paul, to mention it to the mayor. Yeah. I did. did you get it? Yes, I emailed it. To, I, I mentioned it to him in email. Um, and in a conversation, and he he hasn't not had that meeting with President Nellis yet, but he said he would bring it up. He's going to have it on the agenda. That'll yeah. be good. That'll be good. Okay. I apologize, Pam. I I, I just jumped down. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, that's a good idea. Do you have anyone in mind, or do we want President Nellis to push someone in our direction? Well, I think we were going to just start with getting feedback from Nellis through the mayor. And one recommendation that we articulated at our last meeting was, possible recommendation, was that someone from OU attend our meetings or, or be part of our discussion routinely, maybe not monthly, but routinely. Um, so that they're the big property owners. They cover a lot of ground. So that was one thing, but I think we're waiting on the mayor. Right? Isn't yeah. that where we left it? Yes. Yeah. It sounds that way, right? Yep. Okay. Um, well, is there any other business that anyone would like to bring forward tonight? Mm. Marianne, I have one quick, quick item to mo mention. Um, the, the, Ohio History Connection is, um, they are beginning to do an update to their uh, statewide preservation plan. Yes. Um, I think they do that every five years. And um, they, uh, they approached me about serving on their um, steering committee, I believe. And I think, Marianne, you were on that five years ago, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Um, and so we had just a small organizing meeting uh, last Wednesday. I don't think there'll be much, um, much work involved on my end, but um, uh, I just wanted the commission to be aware of that, that that's coming forward. I think they may be doing some survey work pretty soon to boards and commission members across the state to try to get some better information about what's going on and what priorities you all might have and what kind of things are happening in our communities so that they want to make sure is included. What are the top issues and things like that? That's wonderful. Good. But, uh, thank you. Does anyone else have anything to add? Now, I apologize for this bright light right behind my head, but you know what? That's from the sun. <laughs> That's 12 volt directly from my batteries that generate electricity from the sun today. Isn't that weird? Huh. 
Looks like the sun. <laughs> yeah, right. That's right. Mark has one over his head, too. Yeah. Only his is a little smaller, but. Oh, I've got to figure out how to make it <laughs> not like. <right. laughs> I, I need a fee. You guys all look so good. I look like some kind of vampire here. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> I've tried. I can't figure out what to do to make my thing. <laughs> that, that was good. <laughs> okay. Well, if there's... I, don't know, I, I tell you what, guy looks like he's on a boat somewhere or something. What's going on with him? <laughs> I, I'm driving from Boston, and he uh, was on a boat. riding. My wife's driving his truck now. <laughs> Well, be careful, guy. Yes. Drive carefully. Okay. If there's, enough, if there's enough, um, let's adjourn this meeting. And is everyone in favor of adjourning the meeting? Say aye. If you want. Aye. One time. Aye. Thing. Well, when do you think they're going to start? I mean, when is this process going to start kicking in at the city with us? Uh, on the nineteenth of November. Nineteenth of November. Yeah. I mean, yeah. don't have to, I mean, we should just be ready in December for stuff. Maybe I don't know. Like right now, not a whole lot. Like Paul indicated, is happening uptown. Right. But I think that's important. How and we talked a little bit, bit about all this, but it's going to be important to make sure that whenever something does occur, we are very efficient and knowledgeable of how we go about the process to give everybody confidence in our ability to perform what we're supposed to do. Not only the city, which has asked us to do this, but also the clients and the owners and property owners in the city to make sure that we do this right. I mean, it might not be to, the, they might not like what we hear or we say, but at least we do it correctly. I mean, it, that could happen in December or January. I mean, the first could month. happen in could happen in November. We've been through it before, John. That's the blessing. We've been yeah, we, absolutely. We are ready so, for it to do. I think we can handle it. Good. I just it's going to be a different scenario. Mm -hmm. That that's why I said I'd be willing to be on call. Mm -hmm. I mean, we do need a a, a, a leader somebody who will be the spokesperson for this process, whether it's you, Marianne, Paul, I don't know, but I'd be happy to be on point. Call me up anytime. And, and I think that as at my experience in working with lots of different clients, they're always looking for suggestions too. That's um, the way community design was. It was the same fact, way. They want, people want us to help them do yeah. the right thing. So we don't, become adversarial at all, but we become part of the solution. And sometimes the solution evades that they don't know exactly what the best thing to do would be. But we can provide that solution for them, hopefully. I don't know, I'm getting kind of old. You're right. Don't you, yeah, you, you are not, too. not you, me. Well, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to punch. You must be getting old too. <laughs> are we adjourned or not? I one oh, member sorry. Uh, one member has already left, so I just wondered because I was going to leave as well. I just wondered: are we meeting or not? Are we doing? I, we sort of, sort of half a degree to adjourn, but it never quite happened. Are Every, we adjourned? Everyone in favor of adjourn.